Okay, we have a long day ahead of us. Skid plates pulled off. Ran into a pretty big issue that has to be addressed immediately. So, the motor mounts kind of settled and the engine dropped about an inch lower than when I originally welded the engine mounts in. And basically the, uh, the, the engine pan rubbed on this bolt. The engine's supported right now with the stand at the top, but it used to sit right on this bolt and it actually popped a hole in my oil pan. Luckily it didn't crack it completely, so I think I can still get away with uh, fixing it with some epoxy because dropping this oil pan does not look fun. I don't know, I might be able to get away with uh, removing this diff tube and replacing the oil pan from underneath, but it's just something I don't want to deal with. Yeah, the plan is just to completely cut this off the frame and do brand new motor mounts. Um, it's going to be hard to get to the driver's side because the diff is in the way obviously but and the steering shaft but this issue needs to be fixed today or I won't be able to keep driving this and this is my only vehicle so anyways I pulled off all my intake stuff AC compressor alternator and my skid plate okay we got the easy side unbolted Get this out of the way. I knew it was a design flaw when I welded this. This has been rubbing on the starter for so long. And I have no room to service it. It was just a really bad design and I should have took my time and built it once and built it right. But uh you know, lesson learned. Just grinded down the old mount. So now I just have the mounting plate and it's ready for welding. Use the Sawzall. And I just cut up my frame. There's the old OEM mount. We're not gonna be using that anymore. Um, yeah, we're gonna start fresh. So I ended up building this bracket. So this bolts on to the engine block side and the motor mount will slip in here. Yeah, motor mount will sit like this. And then the other side, I just tack that little plate down here. I just finished tacking that plate, so I'm going to weld it onto the frame, make some gussets, and then that'll be it. There's going to be a lot more room to work with this engine mount, and by the looks of it, this looks beefy compared to the setup I had before, so I'm pretty hyped. Here's what I ended up doing on the frame side. The welds are nowhere near as clean just because I have no room to work with. But uh, it's all gusseted and I think it'll hold. It seems pretty strong, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just gotta paint it, reassemble and then work on the more difficult side. Tip is to use a, a license plate or some sort of heat shield around the CV boot when you're welding, because you can easily 
burn a hole through that and then you're gonna have to reboot your CV axle so just putting a license plate there helps here's everything all secured together I fired the car up with one Corvette mount and one Volkswagen mount and uh, yeah there's definitely a little more vibration let's finish the bracket for the driver's side um, I was I couldn't put a second gusset here because the AC compressor would have got in the way, so hopefully this is strong enough. I just added a smaller gusset at the bottom, but I had to make sure it didn't interfere with the engine mount once it was installed. So it clears just fine. Okay, the motor's sitting in there. Motor mounts are holding up the motor. There's no more engine support here. Everything's all tightened up. Uh, first, I've noticed that the engine sits a lot stiffer in there, like it barely moves. So I'm a little worried that it's gonna vibrate quite a bit in the cabin, which is not gonna be pleasant for daily driving, but uh, I'd take vibration noise in the cabin over a punctured oil pan any day so um, yeah I mean it really looks pretty clean uh, I still got to put all my accessories on here uh, alternator AC compressor power steering all that 